Hey everybody, welcome back to Absolutely Marvel and DC. I'm Dylan, that's Dan, and today we are going to be talking about Superman and Lois episode 12, I think. Again, don't <laughs> have notes 10, for this Episode 10, I one. think, actually. I and? think I actually looked this one up. I think this is uh, episode 10. Okay. <clears throat> well, one of the it's, episodes. Oh, mother, where art thou? <laughs> yes. Which, yeah, there's a, a real quick summary of this episode. Um, this is kind of the one where I, last week, I think it was the one that revealed that um, uh, Kyle, who's, who's Lana Lang's husband, I'm trying mm-hmm. to like connect these characters that were invented for the show to like right. existing ones. And I guess Lana's the only one that's like an actual character. Uh, he, uh, he, he's a Kryptonian. And also uh, our theories about Morgan Edge's status as a Kryptonian were wrong. Um, and I think what they did in the show is worse, <laughs> but for, for, for context, he's, he actually is Superman's brother. If, if we're to believe, well, no, cause, cause his mom confirmed it. So it is all true. Yes. The mom confirmed um, it. It's, it's, uh, so he's, he's Superman's brother from the, the, the genetic pairing that, um, Lara Superman's mom had with another dude on Krypton before yep. she met Jor-El, which I His love how they kind of just her arranged marriage. Essentially. Yes. Yeah. I love how, um, she, she, so in this episode at one point, Lana Lang volunteers to become a host for Superman's mom, which, uh, we're not going to talk about like the weirdness about that because Lana and Superman dated at one point. Uh, we're, we're just going to skip over. <laughs> we'll brush past that. Uh, but, um, also Lana doesn't know that cause she doesn't know that Clark is Superman. But, uh, the point is she talks to him about all that stuff. And, um, I, that's what I was going to say. I like that. She, she mentions, uh, how, um, she like broke up with that guy and went to Jor-El and basically completely brushes past the fact that she for sure cheated on, on her like genetic partner right. with Jor-El. She's like, Oh, it was so sweet. I met Jor-El and then I left the guy. I was yeah. like, Oh, okay. It's like, Hmm. <laughs> What are you doing there, lady? But uh, yeah, I mean, overall, I-, I thought it was a it was a fun episode. I was a little disappointed, um, just just because I thought what we came up with was a lot more mm-hmm. interesting than what they <clears throat> came up with. Yeah. Um, but uh, what what do you think? Because one of one of I liked your theory the best of like it was the Superman from the alternate from the al- I thought here. that would have been just so much better because it would have been a much more like they could relate to each other even more. Right. Um, plus it would make a little bit, I feel like it would have made the John Henry Adams, uh, irons, irons. Thank you. Uh, I feel like it would have made his purpose in this a yes. lot better. That's, um, that's the exact reason why I was, um, cause, uh, cause you're, you're, I think I was the first one who was like, I think it's Superman from the alternate universe. And you were like, yeah, I think he like, he saw a different universe and was like, I want to do what I just did here on that universe. Mm-hmm. Um, and I think that's a lot more that ties everything up more neatly because like steel being here, like you kind of have to go through a couple like mental hoops to make his presence in the show make sense. Right. If, if it's not him, um, is it's just like, Oh, this guy steel just kind of happens to be here. Um, and and this, and this dude, I don't even remember his name. Morgan Edge is like doing the same thing on this planet. It, it's just kind of weird. It's it's a little convenient, and I think our, our mm-hmm. theory would have would have made it make more sense. Yeah, I think so. Um, I I'm pretty sure also that something I found kind of odd with the 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 brother is that I'm pretty sure that's an alternate universe Superman origin where he lands somewhere else mm. and then he's hunted and captured and basically treated as a lab rat. Like I'm 95% I think, 95% I think you're thinking sure. of Red Sun. Yeah. I think Except that's, it's in Russia instead of right. uh, Britain England. or England or wherever. Because uh, th- there is also, uh, in Flashpoint, that's a similar thing. The He, he lands um, in America somewhere, but they capture him. But and the they government gets on him. him. Yeah. Right. Instead of the Kents, which I did like. I thought it was a little hokey. Um, when they're showing Morgan Edge's like backstory when he lands and he sees those two people and one of them has a gun and he just lasers them. Um, <laughs> I thought the, and the, the, the reaction from the townspeople of that, uh, uh, village, wherever he landed seemed a little over the top, but 
Yeah, yeah it's, it's comic books. <laughs> it's comic books. I think I think there could have been different reveals that would have been a little cooler. Now, if it turned out, see, if they had not confirmed that it was in fact his brother, I think it would have been cooler if once again it was that alternate universe Superman. And that was his origin from his universe and why mm. he sided with them when the family was brought to like it would. I feel like that would have been a better way to do it. But I mean, yeah. I also because I've got a, I've got a huge like bad taste in my mouth for retconning anything to do with Superman's origin. Yeah. Um, like, yeah, uh, talk about Rogal Czar. <laughs> and stuff like we're that. Not gonna, from the we're not going to no. Rogal Czar. That's <laughs> but like that's. Like, I got PTSD from stuff like that. Like, just don't mess with the core tenets of Superman's origin. And mm-hmm. to throw in, like, that's such a classic, like, annoying comic book retcon, too. Like, oh, you have a brother who's older than you and is yep. evil because they treated him differently when he landed here. Because I guess England is worse than Kansas. <laughs> yeah, apparently. Apparently, <laughs> apparently. so. I mean. Sorry, Dan. <laughs> yeah, no, my, my people. My people are not very friendly to aliens from outer space. Apparently, apparently. not. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's... it's it's strange also because we and i think we're overdue for having a long discussion about uh, the state of this show in cw's multiverse because Mm -hmm. the plot line kind of now hinges on superman being the only person here and not having like a kryptonian family here yeah but if this does take place in the cw verse and they clearly do know about the multiverse like has this superman met supergirl right (laughs) because i mean it's a (laughs) hey you already have family. Right. If, like if she, if Supergirl is in this universe, it would have also been a cool plot point to have Morgan Edge go to her. Right. And that's, that's like, like, like I get it's more clean to like ignore Supergirl, but yeah. why wouldn't Morgan Edge try to mess with Supergirl in any way? Um, is it just that he doesn't know about her, which wouldn't make any mm-hmm. sense because she's which always all over the news. Um, but I don't know. And like, like, it's, I think it's just clear that, um, like, I, I just, I finally started watching Stargirl, and it's pretty good, I've right? been, it, eh, it's all right. What, I feel on, like what it's episode a, it, are you on? Uh, like, four or something? Okay, it gets better it once gets better. it gets a little later, because it shifts from the high school high school focus to the JSA focus, and that's when it it's starts just getting, now like, getting really there, good. I think. Okay. Um, so it is getting a little better, but, but I've, I, I mentioned that because there's a, I feel like there's a lot of similarities to this show that Stargirl has, where it's like, weirdly, like, Stargirl was produced by DC Universe, um, mm-hmm. but is, is like, now the season two is being handled by the CW, um, and I, I like, there's a lot of like, there are like the JSA clearly existed in the CW verse and they're making efforts to kind of obscure that connection so that like, you know, like, like Jay Garrick, um, the flash in, in there is like, they kind of hide his face a lot. So it's right. kind of unclear whether or not it could be that one, but that one's even from like earth two. So, you know, it's a whole thing. Um, and that's similar in this show where like ideas that should be touched on, like, is there a Supergirl in this universe? Um, when does it take place? If the last time we saw Superman was during crisis right. and now he has like two 16 year old kids, um, like questions like that. And and the, the more we get deeper into this show, the more apparent those questions become. Um, and I think, I think at this point the show's just like, we just don't think about it, yeah. which which has kind of been DC's mantra with their live action stuff for a while. And it's really frustrating, um, especially hot off the heels of the CW verse, which is kind of the only live action multiverse thing that's worked. Yeah. Uh, Cause like the, the Snyder verse is just a mess of continuity. Like no, We're nothing not makes even sense there. The Snyder verse. No. Um, at, like most of the movies like being connected in any way is, is very confusing. Even the animated movies for a while, they were pretty consistent. And now they're like restarting or whatever. Um, and, and this, like, the whole CW verse is just kind of, like, topsy-turvy right now, I feel. Yeah. Where in Legends is, like, the only one that's kind of still paying attention to it. Um, which, good for you, Legends. Yeah. Uh, but, which is even weirder, because, like, Legends is the one that introduced the JSA, and now Stargirl is coming to be a CW show. Right. It's... And the JSA is such a huge part of that show. 
<laughs> yeah, but, the whole uh, crisis of combining them to one Earth, I think they're starting to uh, ignoring reconsider. it. <laughs> yeah, they're completely like, well, I'm sorry, at what? The, at at no, the end of that, them. they confirmed that the multiverse was still a thing. It was like the end of Secret Wars in the comics where like, we, oh, the multiverse is dead, but also by Spider-Gwen out next week, which uh, is still <laughs> happening on Earth 65. It's like the the literal post credit scene of Crisis was um was i think it was a different superman uh just flying around being on his own earth Mm -hmm. um and and it's and and i i think one of the one of the like showrunners for the flash or something or someone might have been greg berlanti i'm not sure or mark guggenheim one of the like higher ups at the cw dc stuff was like yes the multiverse is a thing but the 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 characters in the show in the shows don't know that yet like they're they don't they're not aware that the multiverse is back and that's something that the flash has touched on where they're like the multiverse is dead they've said that Mm -hmm. so they clearly don't know but like uh, superman and all of its cast are very aware that the multiverse is a thing um and they're dealing with the effects of it right now so they got to get their story straight (laughs) so okay ready i've got a i've got a new theory that i just thought of while we were discussing this since uh, so in this episode we learned pretty much the entire town of Smallville were turned yeah. into Kryptonians. A lot more people than you Don't would know think when that happened, but <laughs> all of them got uh, turned back. What if now the brother learns of this alternate universe where that Superman did side with him, mm. did take over, and he tries to get them to come over? Mm. Like well, what either, if? So the cliffhanger of this episode is he he uh, Morgan Edge and the one person who didn't get turned back his like assistant I always forget her name um, I never but, remember it nah, I keep wanting to call her like I want to call her Lana but that's not <laughs> that's right. a different character um, but uh, she is like where is everybody and Morgan Edge is like they're not here but we're not alone and then they they like cut to like what would have been a reveal but then the episode just ends mm-hmm. <laughs> so I. I, maybe that's who he's referring to, like the the that he knows about the multiverse already. Yeah, and and he that was like his plan B is to like open a portal. Um, like the next episode is gonna open that same shot, and it's gonna pan up even further, and there's gonna be a portal, and a bunch of black suit Superman are gonna fly through. That'd be cool. Uh, it would be cool. I wouldn't be surprised if that actually, if either that happens, or simply he gets a hold of the entirety of the Kryptonite. Uh, hmm new weapons that the dod has been yeah. working on because we touched on that once haven't gone back to it yet but i have a feeling that's going to be a very crucial thing in this as well as i'm not entirely sure if kyle changed back i'm still wondering like i i kind of hope he did because i really don't want the yeah. oh man it turns out that this happened but there's a part of me that's like i wonder if he somehow like he had been changed long enough that it did yeah, not he revert, was in there for too long but he's also a smart enough kryptonian to know when you can go start going like undercover basically right he would they would have to jump through a lot of hoops to have that make sense because he was in a tent like under kryptonite but see so. that's <laughs> the thing is he's the only one that was under kryptonite and for all we know the device can't penetrate kryptonite sure but what I'm saying is like if but if I he is acting yeah. and he's like he's like okay I'm gonna go back in like how would he know that to change at that exact moment right if he's like hidden away it would be a, it would be a whole thing but part of me <laughs> when that was happening I was like because mm-hmm. she did state if they have been changed for too long they cannot right. be reverted and obviously that would have happened with the like uh, the woman whose name we never remember. Right. But I feel like there's got to be at least one or two other ones that mm-hmm. had been changed long enough that they are still J- Kryptonian. But See, I, I mean, I thought then again, you I never figured because because my, my first thought about like the changing thing is that there was like a, a radius to it, a certain radius around the what was it called? The, the Eradicator. Um, mm-hmm. And uh, so I figured everyone in that swarm that was attacking Superman was going to be changed back and anyone outside that direct vicinity wouldn't have. And I thought that's why Kyle was the only one segregated away from all of them. Mm -hmm. Um, Because I thought he would be too far away. And I didn't want that to happen because like you kind of mentioned, like that's, I don't know, that's a little boring just to 
to keep on it, like to keep torturing Sarah as a character, like leave her yes. alone. She's been through enough. <laughs> um, Just let her have uh, her moment with her dad. Come on. Yeah, for real. <laughs> uh, so I don't know. I, I'm glad. I hope that they, that they stick to like, just, you know, Kyle's going to go. Uh, he's back on the up and up. He's going to stop drinking and he's going to be a good papa to Sarah. Also, speaking of the, the Langs or I guess the Cushings, whatever they, they go by. Um, where was uh, Sarah's sister this whole time? I was thinking <laughs> the same thing. They referenced the second daughter and I'm like, it has been a long time since she's been anywhere in this show. Yeah. <laughs> Why even write that character into the show if you're going to use her for one scene and then throw her away? <laughs> uh, yeah, that was that was an interesting thing because I had the exact same thought when she was like, "Are two girls or something?" I'm like, "I'm like, oh yeah, she does have right. a sister, doesn't she?" <laughs> yeah, she's at her friend's house or something. Doesn't get to know that her dad is like a, a murderous Kryptonian now. Right. I'm I'm wondering if uh, because this this episode definitely felt like a midseason finale. We finished up that first arc of turning Smallville into Kryptonians. Um, Do you think we're going to get the Eradicator like that? The the device in the comics, the Eradicator is more of like a an android kind of thing. Right. And I'm wondering if the eradicator is going to be turned into that at some point for some reason, whether it's on the side of good, whether it's on the side of bad, I think it's going to fuse with something at the fortress of solitude and become cool aviator glasses eradicator. Right. <laughs> Cause I was, I was kind of thinking about that during this episode because that we, we've got, we have steel mm-hmm. and, and now we have an eradicator. And now that I think about it, we have a super boy <laughs> what are they yeah. are they gonna kill superman what are they doing <laughs> yeah that's I, that's I, interesting it, it would be cool if it if they actually went into the plot of if it did become the eradicator and it tried to eradicate john because he was half human half kryptonian like they did in the comics because he's like well it's got to be a pure blood so we're just gonna right. kill off the human side i think i'm i'm gonna make a I'm going to make a stand. I'm going to die on the Superman is dying in this, this season. He'll, he'll come you back. Think he but will? I think, I think there's enough pieces here. Um, Cause like you mentioned earlier, they've been showing a lot of the, the, the kryptonite weapons that the government's using and they're mm-hmm. being subtle about it, which I think is, is fun. Like the, the, the kryptonite uh, handcuffs. Those are cool. Those um, were cool. I like that. And there's, there's like, they're showing enough to show that there's clearly a lot going on there. Mm-hmm. Um, and they they tried to kill Superman here. Superman is now without his powers because he used a solar flare, so he's yep. even weaker than normal. Uh, if Morgan Edge brings an entire army from a different universe in to attack Superman, Superman's gone. Like I don't know if it's going to happen next episode, but I feel like there's enough puzzle pieces here um, with with like small references to the death and return of Superman in the comics, right? And um just superman now like being powerless and weak uh i i don't know i think there's a strong chance that they're gonna kill superman in this in this show i would not be surprised i would not be surprised at all and yeah i i want i think it if anything it would be in a moment of protecting his kids yeah probably more likely protecting john than jordan because jordan's the one with powers but when you were saying that and i was doing my weird thought processes uh, and why I think Kyle or at least the Kryptonian inside of Kyle, I'm wondering what happened to those Kryptonian spirits because of the fact that if they got absorbed into the Eradicator, the Eradicator Eradicator becomes sentient, becomes the comic book Eradicator. First person he would go for is Jonathan because I found it kind of odd that they would have the Kyle... Kryptonians very specifically state when I get out of here, I'm going to kill you first. (laughs) And I'm wondering if that's going to be it, that it becomes a sentient thing. Clark has to fight it before he's fully recovered. And that might be the reason why Clark dies. But so I, uh, I, there's so much, I I looked up something here. I want to, I can't, maybe I'm going to change my, uh, my Uh theory here a little. Okay. Let's, (laughs) let's hear it. Um, cause 
I'm looking at some so, so the the dates for the next episodes, and we have the titles for the next two episodes. So next week okay. we get a brief rem- reminiscence in between cataclysms, which is a fun title. Um, and then the episode after that is a month later in on July 27th, and it's called Through the Valley of Death. So maybe he's dying next episode at the very end. <laughs> Someone's well, okay. dying. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay. Plot twist. Jonathan actually does get killed. He gets mm. killed. And that's what turn like as a Morgan Edge like arranges it to make him seem like a human did it so that Clark might be more likely to side with the Kryptonians mm-hmm. because the humans turned on his kids. There's so many possibilities, but through a valley of death, someone's dying. Someone's Someone dying. is dying. <laughs> Or that is their way of saying they're going back to uh, Steel's Earth. And that yeah. is the Valley of Death because... That could be cool. It got annihilated. So Yeah. We'll go I, see like, what his daughter is doing. Especially like uh, like the next episode being called a, a, a brief, like, like it's, you know, it's saying basically we're taking a small intermission, but like after that nightmare and then we're going to get into another nightmare. I feel like right. it's... It's going to be just like talking until Superman or someone has to go off and someone's going to die. And that's going to be the second like cataclysm of this season, right. which like Superman dying um, or Jonathan dying, causing Superman to do some nightmare nonsense. Um, yeah, I could that you could call that a cataclysm for sure. Or hey, um, you know what? Not even Superman. Go- Jonathan dies. Jordan goes evil. Yeah. He kills that. Clark, and that's what... Re- <laughs> that's, no, I, would, no, no, no. I don't know about that. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> they fight each other because he has gone evil. Clark uh-huh. sacrifices himself, and that's going to mm. be the thing that like snaps him out of it, of like, wait a second, Dad, no, I killed my father. <laughs> he just goes too far. It's like the reverse Invincible. Exactly, exactly. I can see that. <laughs> Man. We, I mean, we're excited know. for this show. I'm this, very, I'm very happy. I will say that the nice thing about this show is even on the things that we're not incredibly happy about, this show I feel has been the best in terms of theories. Like I yeah. feel like this one has been probably one of the reasons I enjoy it so much is because of the each episode ends and you're like, there are so many possible theories that could come mm-hmm. out of this, and I love theories. I love theory crafting. I think that's like super super fun, but I mean, we'll find out. Yeah, we'll find and out. I think that's I like you know we talk about legends every week too, and I think legends has like we don't have much to say about it because it's kind of aimless. Like there's mm. you end each episode and you're like, well, we don't really know where this is going. But with this yeah. show, it's like the direct opposite, where you end it and you're like, wow, like that was a good episode of television, and also like there's a lot in the plot that we could just talk about as like nerdy little comic book fans. Yeah, um, <laughs> and I think that's. <laughs> I'm I'm just I, every week I'm still so surprised that that the first four episodes of this show exist because they're just not good. <laughs> and they, they the just first completely four could have, Yeah, they could have been condensed into two. Those first yeah, a hundred percent. Like especially that I think it was episode four, the one that we like really trashed on. Mm-hmm. Um, but that one with the uh, I don't know, it was just confusing. But yeah. it's oh. a solid show. I'm excited. I'm I'm sad that after after next week it's taking a month break. I'm assuming that means we're getting four episodes of Supergirl in a row, which woo. <laughs> but <laughs> maybe that show can do a 180 as well cuz right now it's horrible. <laughs> well, hey, you know what? At least Superman has given us hope that any CW show, <laughs> no matter how bad it is, it can That's get better. That's true. That's true. Well, hopefully <laughs> we'll hopefully. see. Hopefully, yeah, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Yep. Anyway, I'm Dylan. That's Dan. This has been Absolutely Marvel and DC. We'll see you guys next week for the last Superman and Lois review for for like a month, I guess. So yeah, stay tuned. See y'all next week. See you guys.